back when I bought my 23 Canyon and started working on it, I noticed some wires under the front cross member and I thought to myself, dang, I'm probably gonna break those someday. Well, two nights ago was that day. Now I did a short recently about pulling this entire cross member forward. I had pushed it so hard that it was touching the rack and making my rack make some noises and whatnot. And so I used a taller jack to push this out. Well, this cross member is kind of protecting, protecting some of these wires right here. Turns out that if you drive over a rock in the exact right location, you don't get to turn your truck off. So while I was on trail, I managed to re-splice two of these wires here, hooked them together, literally wrapped some of the loom back around it. And I got the truck to turn back on and I was able to drive out of there, but I did not have any power steering. One well-placed rock and I basically stopped the truck, put it in park, and I had every warning light on. I'm telling you, if it was equipped with a warning light, it was going off. I hopped out, tried to look at uh, what was going on. I literally put the truck in park and couldn't get it out of park. And I couldn't use my start stop button to turn the truck off. It literally, <laughs> the motor wasn't running, but uh, I couldn't turn the screens and everything off. And it was really, really, really weird. I pulled the battery cable, all the things, and I just could not get the truck to turn off. So once I looked under the truck, I kind of formulated a plan to get the wires reconnected and hoped that that would work. Fast forward a night or two and I've got my buddy's code reader that'll read all the modules and everything and I found I think 11 different codes. Some of them were uh, confirmed or uh, pending or permanent. I still have three permanent codes but I was able to read all of those and uh, delete them and I still have three codes that I believe I need to drive cycle it was just the PCM and ECM and I think steering rack communication was just not working. Obviously those are pretty important wires and I really don't understand why GM would put those wires there. The second gens and now the third gens both have those wires going right under there being that they're really similar chassis and electrical systems and whatnot. They just kind of obviously the trucks look different. It doesn't make sense to me that GM would put really 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 important wires right under the front cross member. I can guarantee you the first trip out, I took my Canyon, I hit that cross member. That cross member is really low for an off-road trim truck. And those wires are obviously really important. So how can we prevent that from happening ever again? Well, you can buy some skid plates. You can buy some kind of cross member cradle looking things that uh, will obviously protect that. But I have a better solution. If it's not there, you can't hit it. This will be a free solution for you guys to fix or avoid damage to those wires going forward. I ended up taking the clips off of the main power wires for the steering rack and the plug right here in the front of the rack. And essentially, these just kind of clip out and I intended to use them again. But with the truck off, we're going to remove the red uh, safety by pushing out through the bottom here and then disconnecting this. That red safety needs to come out before anything happens. So this is what it looks like. This was just up inside here and we needed to push this out in order to get this 
disconnected. Same thing with this guy right here. This plug also has a little red tab and I tried to peel it off from the top and that didn't work. So I ended up pushing from the bottom and that ended up working really well. So once that's out of the way, we can unclip this harness here. Apparently, apparently I got some dirt in there. Goodness. But as you guys can see, this whole harness here goes up to all sorts of plugs and other sundry things up here. They're all important. I got cam bus wires. I got yellow and green and blue with yellow and two obviously really big power wires for this. Now I want you guys to be amazed at the solution that I'm going to present to you in just a second. Just comment below, wow, that's amazing, Kevin. Great job for thinking of that. Because obviously, GM didn't care about your truck enough to design it the way I'm going to do the wires right now. All right, we're going handheld mode. Here's the wires that used to go under here. What if I told you guys they literally fit over the frame? You can see my fingers up inside there. What if I told you they fit over the frame just fine and we'll plug back in there? in there mind blown right let's route super important wires over the frame probably is nowhere where you can like hit a rock while off-roading in an off-road trim truck think so so what we're gonna do here is i've taken the little clips off of the plugs here because we can't slide the clips and the plugs through the gap but what we're gonna do here is just really carefully shove these wires and there's a whole mess of room up here and we're just gonna tuck these wires wait for it over the frame so now that we've got the wires over the top of the cross mirror we need to go tuck it under this wire right here just so they kind of fit a little bit better so we're gonna tuck these wires Literally under the other harness right here. And I know it seems I'm being rough with it, but I've done this two or three times already just without the camera being on. Now you guys can see that this is nice, tucked up, <laughs> not even affected here. The section of wire that broke is literally up, way up there above the frame. And all we got to do is connect this guy and this guy using the provided plugs and clips and all that that uh, GM provided us initially. Clip. Clip. Find the hole they came out of. There we go. This guy. Slide the clip back in. Figure out how it goes. Click. Find the hole that that came from. So remember, our wires used to go right through here. And this is evidence of the rock that I hit. Wires now go over the frame, under the steering rack, under the harness right here, down to the plug, and over to the power wires for steering rack. Obviously that wasn't uh, probably the way that GM designed it. Obviously they probably just put that wire there for ease of assembly, which is why they're called a vehicle manufacturer because they obviously don't work on their vehicles or think that guys like me are gonna use their off-road trim truck to do off-road things. Now I'm not selling anything. I'm literally helping you guys fix your truck for free or prevent some damage if you happen to off-road your truck like GM never intended. So give the video a like if you guys found any value in this. Let me know, comment if you've swapped these wires or comment below if you guys have broken these wires before. I do have a catch can under there for those that might have commented already asking questions about the catch can. That video is coming. I've got a couple more ahead of that. I want to do some more testing on it and I need to reach out to a couple different companies to see if they want to make a kit 
uh, copying mine or if they don't care and I'll just make you guys a kit. So with that, I do thank you guys for watching the video. Hopefully this was helpful and uh, we'll see you guys on the next video.